Today, I want to show you how to use the describe tool on the Midjourney Alpha website in order to find a prompt for a, an image. So I'm going to start out with one well, of these images that I used as a style reference code to make that made it look kind of like an 80s war movie. It's supposed to be in the style of the war movie Platoon. So I'm going to go ahead and start out here with up here. This is a great feature that you can use on the Alpha website, not on the, on the regular Midjourney website. It has to be alpha.midjourney.com. You want to go up to the Imagine box here and click that. So you can choose a file um, or drop it here. So I'm going to drag this over from my finder and put it there. You'll see the image ends up here and also there's a image here that's the same image there, okay? For this purpose, we're gonna use it down here. There's a, a trash can on there and there's also an eye. Click on the eye and that opens up the describe. It's a lot simpler than it, it was in Discord. So it'll bring up the subject and descriptors and it gives you options for what you can choose to recreate this image. And what I would usually do is kind of look at these and see what do I like about it, which seems to reflect what the type of image that I want to get. This says it's a scene from the movie Honduras featuring Tom Welling as a young, solidly built. It's like a sentence fragment, and it'll often do that. Um, in this case, you can use that, but you can also take off the part that doesn't apply to this image. Since it's not Tom Welling, it's not. Uh, the movie Honduras, I can use that and then replace some of that. But I'm going to see this subject. I can start out with this and I'm going to take off a scene from a movie. I'll leave that there and just take off the name of the movie. And featuring Tom Welling, I'll just take off scene, a scene from the movie Honduras. Uh, so I'll just do a scene from the from the movie Platoon featuring a young, a young soldier. Now he's a young, handsome man with dark hair and blue eyes. That looks like that's probably the case too. And you just keep building it from that. This is an 80 cinematic style. This one describes it as ISO 800 to achieve high resolution, hyper-realistic style. That means for the camera that was used, um, you can change it here. I'm going to put cinematic light, close up the image, handsome young soldier wearing black military fatigues in an intense combat action pose. He's wet. I can use that also, but I'll just take off that he's wearing military. I'll just put, instead of wearing black, wearing military fatigues and uh, in intense combat action pose, he is wet. Um, I can put specify like from rain in the jungle because this is depicting the Vietnam, the Americans in Vietnam during the war between the U.S. and Vietnam. Rainy weather, muscular built. You could just kind of go through and just pick the things that you want. It's wide shot, I guess close up wide shot to see what happens there with the film grain and. Let me see. I won't put rainy weather screenshot. We'll just go with that. So you pick out what you want, then double check your settings and see what your settings are set at. Right now, I have it for a landscape because you can slide this back and forth if you want a landscape or portrait mode. Um, or just click on those and that'll get you through it. I'm going to do this in style rod, raw. That's for the mode. This is version six. If you do the drop down, you can change to a different version, but I'm not going to do that for this one. Stylize, I keep it pretty low. You can go up a little bit higher to make it adhere more to what the prompt actually says. I don't usually use weird. And variety is the same thing as chaos. I often use chaos as 10 and I'm going to, I have fast hours. I'm not going to use turbo. If you want to do it as relaxed, you could do that. And I keep the stealth on just so that I can work without my uh, images ending up on the community page when, before I'm ready. And then you just hit return or enter. Um, to close this, this uh, settings box out, you can just hit that there. And you can 
go to the create screen to see what's happening and what's how what's going to be created from that and then you can kind of work from that it'll show the prompt over here and it also has the image that we started with so in fast hours it generates pretty quickly so you see that it's generating now and 96% complete. We're getting there. Sometimes it slows down right at the end. Almost ready. <laughs> then mid journey fails there. So you saw that it was diffusing. It looked a little bit different. So this is a pretty good picture, a pretty good representation of what I was looking for. So you can kind of go, it seems like similar characters. If you want to go large and see the full screen view. So not bad. Um, so you have that. If you want to make any changes, you can always use the subtle. If you want to run some variations of that. Let me just see, of this particular image, I'm doing very strong. You can rerun the prompt and move myself out the way so I can do that. And that's rerunning. And you have different features over there that you can use. Panning, you can change the AR, a lot of different things. And that will be for another video. But to see the progress of that, you can see it generating over here. And if you exit out of that, I actually hit it twice. So we're getting a couple different and you can see we're getting quite a few that look close to what the original image was. It's not bad at all. There are oftentimes some of these black lines on there and the way that I can Get out of that sometimes is um if I don't have that many images that I can use without having that black line, I will use the very subtle or very strong and see if that will help some. Sometimes changing the AR from widescreen to portrait mode um, might help it, but that is how we can how quickly we can find that uh, the prompt. I mean, it got you very close to it, right? So. If you want to go back and try it again, you just go ahead. That image is still there. As long as you leave it there, you hit the eye also again. And you can change some things around and see what happens if you make it a little bit different. Um, and you can just kind of adjust it as you need, but it gives you a pretty good starting point. I mean, I'm just going to pick a couple of different things. Um, Standing, he's a spaceship behind him. Let's see what happens if we do that. Close up, 80 cinematic style. I'm going to pick a muscular man with dark hair in a military uniform. He had spaceship. I'm going to put it was directed in the style of James Cameron. Let's see what we come up with. And hit return again. Generate those. So it'll give you, you have the opportunity to change it and customize it. You can use some of the suggested, it's just a suggested prompt. You don't have to use that, the entire thing. You just pick out what you want and you can make it make a little bit more sense without being sentence fragments. So this gives us a slightly different look. So you automatically change it because now instead of having a helicopter behind him uh, in a Vietnam War era video or movie, now he has a spaceship or in what looks like a jet behind him, like a Top Gun jet here. But still some of the basic elements are there and you have an idea you could change it around. Now, another way you can do this is in Discord, you hit the plus button here, or you can just drag, no, I apologize, we don't do that. You hit uh, the forward slash describe, 
and now it gives you the option. To, you can use an image link or you can use an actual image. So you can get the image URL to, in case you want to do that. Let me see if we can do that. Test it out here. So you hit over here where you have the three lines beside the imagine for this particular image. You can copy image URL. So I'm going to click a link and paste that in there. And now it's the same thing as if I drag the image in there. So you get four different suggested prompts. You can click on each one separately and it'll allow you, if you want to make any changes like we did on the other screen on the, on the website, you can do that and you can hit submit there and it'll run the, uh, run the prompt because it also has an AR in there for you that's kind of a widescreen, 128 by 71. Or you can hit Imagine All, and it will go ahead and run each prompt to give you an idea. Now, I, the Describe feature has gotten a lot better in the website or on Discord also, but it's different where you're not getting the segments that you can select from. It's giving you the full prompt for each one. It did not use to recreate the image as well, but it um, gives you different ideas that you can try. It has improved greatly since the new updates a few months ago, I believe. So these are each of the prompts that were run. And it just kind of took them number one, two, three, and four. This is the first one. It has him looking a little younger, but it says a young man with black hair. It looks like it's in the middle of an alien attack on his ship from Alien. <laughs> looks like it's from the movie Alien. That's what it gathered from the image analysis. This is another version. It is a lot of rain, and you can always adjust that. And just if you rerun that, you can take out the rain from it. And uh, if you don't want to have dirt running, um, his, he has dirt on him from running fast through rain puddles while wearing a green camo jacket and black pants. The style is cinematic and hyper-realistic. This is another version. A close-up of young Tom sticks in the face. I'm not sure who Tom is. Um, he's inside an alien ship. It's raining outside. So this is another version. And this is a close-up of a young man's face in the rain from the Alien movie in the style of Tom Young Brian with dark hair and green eyes. And there we go with that. So if you want to upscale any of those, you can do that. And there you have different ways that you can find the prompt for in any image that you want using Midjourney. Alpha website or Discord.